Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Excellent. It's really great to be able to present one's own vision and to be experimental, explorative, thinking about the ways in which you can design a narrative. That really has been an exciting aspect of going out on my own. And what are the unexpected downsides of not working for somebody else? Well, you know, I can't think of any. <laughs> To be the first black woman to open a gallery in Chelsea is one of the most important leaps I've made. I really consider every day a revolution. Being a gallerist requires 24-7 attention. It is a life, it is not a job. And often you find that you, you don't even keep sort of business hours. I grew up in Jamaica, so it was very paradisical, you know. I had a chance to be a real child. I moved to New York, downtown, and it was the late 90s, and so there was a real kind of uh, esprit here, you know, a real verve to the city. I wanted a life of aesthetics and beauty, but I also wanted a life of the mind. And at a certain point, the art world presented itself as the right lane to travel down. I've been in the business for 20 years now, and. I, at this point, I suppose I could consider myself a sort of steady hand, someone who has participated in many different chapters. Prior to opening the gallery, I had a consultancy called Concept NV. We built collections, did several curated projects around the world. We were traveling nonstop. At a certain point, I thought well, there must be a much more efficient way of doing this, creating a hub, a place in which I could deliver a consistent message, very focused narrative. I just thought a gallery would be the right consolidation of efforts. Opening a business in the pandemic was an interesting challenge because on the one hand, there was no clarity on what the world would be like on the other side. But on the flip side of that, it was an opportunity. I think we really were just excited about the possibilities that uh, a new world would yield. Selecting artists is at the core of our business. I consider what I call the kind of onion theory, an artist who possesses several layers. It was very clear to me that being a, you know, a black woman gallery owner was going to require a different kind of clarity and, and thinking that I wasn't simply going to be, you know, flinging my doors open and, and putting some art on the wall. This is a moment when the world is really curious about what it means to be a woman truly in this world, what it means to be a black person, a person of color, someone from another place. I certainly feel like I'm carrying the community with me and sharing the idea of what the future could and should look like.